we could look for old PewDiePie around the corners and you know I like the guy I like some of his videos but what I really really like and who I really really like is Marzia his girlfriend and her videos you know she's pretty down to earth I like that so I figure once I hit 10,000 subscribers I was going to ask her to marry me you know I've asked Kendall and Kendall Jenner she hasn't given me an answer yet so I figured this is the next best thing she's a little young and I just got out of an eight month relationship with a old young gal three children you know love you Crystal Meth. but uh what I wanted to do was get some subscribers and you know, hopefully jump on uh, the gangbang train Marzia and ask her to marry Goldman 007. And if anybody has any comments or they think that that can or cannot work. I mean, I've got a passport. I can go to Switzerland or the Ukraine or Saigon or just about anywhere, really. So, let me know what you all think in the comments about getting with old Marzia. And watch out for his fucking IEDs. And if that's a good idea, drop me a line. And if it's not such a good idea, drop me a line. This is Goldman. About to read his destination. About to reach my destination here. You hear that squeaking? Hear them ball joints? I'm pretty sure that's what them are. Rack and pinion gears going. Ball joints are wore out. It's busting my balls, you know. Busting them balls. But we ain't gonna let that stop us going to our destination. No, 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 we're not. Matter of fact, I think I know them people in front of me. We're not going to let that stop us. Smoke busted balls. We'll keep on Charlie miking down the damn road. Left foot in front of the other. Roger. Everybody's named Roger in the Army. I mean, I don't get it. We're about to reach our destination because this fister found his way once again. And we are here. I don't see my... There we are. We've arrived at our destination. And, uh, looks like I'm blocking some traffic behind me. I don't know if y'all see that. But we'll be all right. So it's reaching 420 minutes. And I'm going to go turn around since people are behind me. Be ready, be ready, but clearly you're not. So we'll just let them go on by. And we will try this again. And rally up on the other side. I think that'll 
be better. I think that will be better. So, as Goldman says, one man's thing is another man's treasure. You ready, honey? Yay! Yeah. What's up, man? We'll be back. Throw it in the back if you can. What, are they coming? Yeah, there's nobody here. Old man here trying to make it to my POV. Now, I want to debunk this flat earth theory right now because I've walked these lands some. Oh, I got gas pains bad, but I've walked these lands. And if you're going to tell me this is on flat earth, if that looks flat to you, and this incline, well, this is the incline right here. That is not flat earth. Look at there. You see that? That is an incline if I ever seen one. I've, the mountains, those, you can call that flat. Maybe in a two dimensional world. But I'm gonna show you what it's like. Try to get in. This is not flat. I'm going uphill on a super, super bad leg. Hip, back, neck, I think my ass cheek, all the above. Oh, ass cheek's numb. Yeah, wouldn't you know it. I left my keys. I gotta get back. Well, back here again, driving down, go help somebody out, I need some new struts, these things are, it's pretty worn out, the old man's view. I want to debunk this flat earth theory right now. See you, Dave. See you, buddy. Cotton, next time, man.